Zero because the other one involved drawing a face on your hand and having a conversation with it. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, you'd so you be surprised to know I do that about three times a week. <laughs> well, you know it happens. <laughs> Welcome to SalinaRadio.com, recorded right here in Salina, Texas, a quiet little dusty, sleepy town that has absolutely nothing going on. Guys, I am so totally kidding about that. Of course, this is Salina, Texas, and we have everything going on here. Now, I'm Ron Lyons. This is SalinaRadio.com, and we intend to have a good time. So put on your seatbelt, and let's get started. Guys, welcome back to another episode of SalinaRadio.com, where we are once again on the heels of a fairly busy week. We just finished Cajun Fest on Saturday, and that was so much fun. I know you went, because I met a lot of you. If you didn't go... You really missed out on a good time, and you need to make plans to go next year. Now, I'm not personally into uh, crawfish and that sort of thing, but I am into Salina, and Salina spoke loudly this weekend with Cajun Fest. Lots and lots of great people and tons of fun, so we'll have a video from that up on my YouTube channel pretty soon, but what else happened? Well... There happened to be this little podcast with somebody named Alexis Jackson, and that thing just took off and went nuts. So if you haven't listened to the podcast with Alexis, she is the executive director of the EDC, and we kind of ventured off the beaten path just a little bit with her and found out that she's got a real thing for James Bond. So if you haven't seen all of the uh, marketing and stuff going on with that, you're you're kind of missing out. I'm having a blast with kind of poking fun at Alexis over her James Bond deal. She's going to probably never watch another James Bond movie again, thanks to me. But anyways, guys, we've got another fantastic episode today. And we've got somebody that you will probably recognize the name and you may have even met him before. His name is Eddie Caulfield. He is an attorney who offices on the square right here in Salina. And I know what you're thinking right now. I don't really want to hear an interview with an attorney. Trust me, you do. Because I did something to Eddie that he did not expect. And it's something that probably most podcasters would never do. So... Anyways, you're going to love this. We, we laughed so much that I literally had tears in my eyes, and I think you're going to enjoy this as well. So sit back and enjoy my interview with Eddie Caulfield. All right, guys, I am here today with Eddie Caulfield of the... Caulfield Law Firm. Am I saying it right? Uh, yes, perfectly. Absolutely. Eddie, how are you doing today? I'm sensational. Thank you. How good. are you? I'm, I'm, re- I'm really, really good. I'm better now that I'm here and sitting down with you for this podcast. And it came up recently that we needed to do this. And we're going to have some fun. We're going to talk a little bit about, you know, kind of how you got here, what you do, stuff like that. But I've got something that you don't even know about right now that's going to make this even more interesting. So first of all, let's just do a little bit of who you are and stuff like that so you're located on the square probably one of the most premier places in salina right now you've got your your office set up here what kind of law do you do primarily we do estate planning which probably sounds a little bit fancier than it actually is Um, but that deals with wills power of attorney documents Uh, just briefly as an example even if someone who is graduating high school they're 18 and they're leaving They commonly don't think about maybe designating their parents as their medical power of attorney in case something happens where they're living at that point. So power of attorney documents. Uh, I have a good number of clients now who are small business owners in the area um, and uh, doing title work in my office. Uh, We deal with real estate and and title work locally as well. So, um, I, you know, some folks might call it boring stuff. well, it really says that I know how to party. It's really fun and interesting to me. <laughs> uh, I, I really do know how to party. Um, but that's primarily what we do now. If somebody calls and it's something we don't do, um, I'll know somebody 
probably locally or at least nearby um, who handles that area of the law, which we you know, every day, at least once a day, we get a call for something we don't do and we just refer it out. Sure. Absolutely. And give me an idea. How long have you been an attorney? Let's see. I, I've been licensed. Um, this is, it'll be, it'll be eight years in June is a second career for me. Um, it was always a bit of a dream to go to law school, as silly as that might sound. And so, yeah, I was, I, uh, I took the bar exam in February, it's offered twice a year. Um, I graduated, well, I graduated on time, but I finished a semester early. Uh, and so I was able to take the February exam um, and then got those results and then was sworn in um, early in, in June of 2014 and went to work right away. At and that here point. you are. So uh, give me an idea. You said a second career. What what was the first? Well, I, I my, my wife and I, and um, a, a close friend, in fact, he was the best man in our wedding and he's been with a, a wonderful close friend for 35 years. Um, we all worked at a company and we left that company and started another company um, out of our garage um, down in Dallas. And it just slowly grew. Um, it positioned me to be able to leave that company. It really took off after I left. I think they needed me to get out of the way. Uh, <laughs> and it, and, and so we, it was, a, it was, you know, it was a staffing company that really grew and it's really big now. It's big, you know, sizable now. Um, and, um, yeah, but it always been a dream, I suppose, like I mentioned to, to go to law school and my wife and I were sitting around the kitchen table at our home in Dallas. Um, and she had known that and, you know, just said, she said, you know, if you're going to do it, now would be the time to do it. And, you know, you, you know it's going to take three years, but the time's going to go by anyway. Um, and I, you know, it's, this will sound a bit you know, silly, I suppose, but I, um, it really was a dream and I wanted to, I wanted to do it. And I wanted to be able to, to look my kids in the eye, um, and one day and say, you know, if you have a dream, you may not pull it off, but um, do everything you can do to at least go for it or give it a shot. I wanted to be able to at least tell them you know, with some credibility about that. Um, and so, yeah, did it. And, um, and it's been wonderful. It, it really has been. It's been a dream. Yeah, really well, has. congratulations on that. That's that's quite the the path to get to where you're at right now. And and let me ask this: Do you have a website? Do you have Facebook? Do you have all those things? Oh, absolutely. Our website is CaulfieldLaw.com. I am not terribly technologically savvy or with social media, but um, uh, you know some of the folks who work here do handle that. We do have a Facebook page. I, I would imagine, and it's dedicated to the Caulfield Law Firm. If you were to be, if you were on Facebook and did some type of a search for the Caulfield Law Firm, it would be on there. Um, I'm pretty sure we've got an Instagram page, uh, <laughs> if that's even what that's called. <laughs> okay. um, that's a Caulfield Law. Um, yes. And in fact, I did some videos last year through the chamber and those would, those would be out at some point, which would have all that stuff on there too, I would imagine. All right. Really that, awesome. So we're not going to probably find you like cutting edge TikTok stuff, right? No, no. I, I mean, I suppose if I did, it would be only because it, it had gone extremely viral by accident. Right, right. Yeah. Which no, I, could I, happen and I that might not be the best thing in the world. No, but. probably not. And I no, I, I have a lot of useless apps on my phone. One of them is not TikTok. Um, but you know, I imagine at some point, you know, somebody will have to teach me about TikTok or. Well, I was, I was corrected recently. I was doing something and they were like, oh, you're still doing Facebook. And I was like, of course I'm still doing Facebook. And they're like, <laughs> Facebook is for old people. You need to be on TikTok. So I, I, I ventured into TikTok land for a minute and ran right back out. Yeah. So I just, I think I'm going to stick with the safe stuff. I think I'm going to stick with Facebook. So well, I am old. So maybe that's where I'm right where I belong in well, Facebook. Yeah, know, if it's for old people. If, then. if you're old and we're right there together. So give me an idea of what you did. Um, in, in law, I, if I remember right, you might have been done like defense attorney type work at some point. Is that correct? Indeed. When I, um, I, I'd gotten connected while I was in law school with um, a, a friend of my wife's from college. Uh, she went to Texas Tech. And long story short, we were actually at the OB office and bumped into he and his wife um, as I was beginning school. And he was very kind and said, hey, well, just, you know, 
get back with me and we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can maybe help you out while you're in school, learning some things. And so um, I worked with them over the breaks and in the summers and really just fell in love with the work that they do. They're one of the largest now and, oh, I suppose uh, most um, preeminent uh, criminal defense firm in Collin County now, and they work all in the area, but um, got a taste of being in the courtroom from the jump and um, just absolutely loved it. And they're good people, um, a lot of fun. Um, and so did that quite a bit. Um, you know, life sort of takes you in some different paths. Um, you know, I don't want to get too far off in the weeds, but my wife had gotten, um, you know, she, she had she had, uh, had some health issues, um, uh, cancer diagnosis. And so, um, you know, in order to be in the courtroom regularly, um, you really have to be all in. And I needed to be more all in at home. Um, and when it came back in 2018, I really quit working for about a year um, and just needed to, while I'd always done some of this stuff that I'm doing primarily now, I needed to make that a bit more of my professional focus so that I could be in a bit more in control of my own schedule. So you and I have a connection in that sense in that I was a police officer. So I probably put some of the people in jail that are, or the types of cases I filed, let's put it that way, that you may have defended. Certainly. So do you have anything at all that was kind of interesting? Let me tell you about one that I had, and then you can kind of weigh in on what you think about this. I had... And without naming any names or anything like that, I had a DWI arrest that I made one time. And when we actually got into, it was a, I think it was a trial by jury. When we actually got in there, the defense attorney was asking me while I was on the stand, if I knew that his client, the person who was driving was legally blind <laughs> I, I, it caught me by surprise because I've heard all the other things, you know, with slight diabetes, uh -huh. you know, I'd taken, I was tired, you know, all the different things, but I never, ever heard the defense put on that the reason for the impaired driving was because <laughs> she simply couldn't see. So have you, what do you think about that? Well, I, I think it's genius um, from a defense perspective. Um, you know, you have to be you know, intoxicated. There's other elements of that particular crime that have to be met. And I suppose it's, you know, I don't know that it's illegal to drive while blind. I, you know, it, it might not be. Uh, I, I just recently had to renew my license. And since I'd done so, I now am required to wear glasses. And so it's got that restriction on there. So it's probably a crime for me not to have that on there but that's a really um and and you know what i, I suppose that like they were just asking if you happen to know that or not they were maybe they weren't saying they were blind and and you know how it goes my my only answer that i'm allowed to give on the stand is either yes or no so if i say no i didn't know your client was legally blind then that sounds like well there you go sure case closed and if i say yes which wasn't the case then i would be perjuring myself or lying on the stand so it, it was a difficult situation and thankfully there's a prosecutor who comes back to kind of clean up the mess later but um do you recall any crazy cases or have you ever had to turn someone away for something that was just like you know no that's just too far out there Oh, you know, every case is interesting, I suppose. You know, people are interesting. Um, and when you're doing a lot of criminal defense work, you know, there's not there's not much you could tell me now that would move my needle. Um, no, I, I mean, I there was one I had that it's sort of, again, obviously not mentioning any names, but not terribly far from, from here in this general area. I had somebody who had... had of all places, flipped a car and rolled it in the parking lot of Kroger on 380 over in Prosper. <laughs> um, there was nudity, um, <laughs> fire, um, alcohol, as you might imagine. Uh, and, and that was really sort of the, some of the more tame stuff uh, in that entire story. Um, and that one, that one went on for a while. As you might imagine, there's multiple stories and mul there's multiple sides to every story. So, Eddie, how long have you been in the Salina area? Well, personally, uh, my wife and I lived in Salina for most of 2009, and then it, it just made more sense to live back in Dallas. Um, and so we moved back to Dallas. And then where we live now, we, we bought the lot where we live in 2012 and then moved into our house 
in 2014. Professionally, um, I, I really set up shop and got going, um, you know, early early-ish 2019. And, and there's always things going on down on the square. That It's just a very, very popular place, and the city puts on lots of events. So um, have you come out for any of those things? Like if they have Halloween on the square, or they, they do the Christmas event, or maybe any of those things. Have you have you gone to those? Do you guys attend those at time? Absolutely. Um, I I really am. I feel so lucky to, to have an office on the square. I mean, I, I don't live terribly far from here, but I, I, it's just a wonderful feeling. Um, it's sometimes difficult to describe being on the square. I'm very appreciative, very, very lucky. Absolutely. And things have changed so quickly. It's just very, very dynamic. And you're getting to see that. You've got a front row seat right here. Oh, I do. And, and it, you know, if you're facing if you're facing Lucy's, my office to the left, there's this, this AT&T building over to the right. Um, but... But on that building, the AT&T building, there's old photos from when this downtown was packed with people 60 to 80 years ago, um, where this place was really, really a, a popular place to be, which when I moved here, and even up and until 2018 or so, this was, a, I mean it, it was a ghost town down here. We schedule now around the lunch hour, but... Um, it's it's sort of amazing in a short period of time how just how regular regularly people visit the square. Friday night markets are now become a staple. There's a waiting list, in my understanding, to become a vendor at those things. There's a, you know always a waiting list to get into these restaurants around here, and it's you know for folks who and there's a lot of people who are new to this area who don't know any different. Um, and to just to see how this has changed just in the last few years, it's, it's really a lot of fun. It's pretty amazing. And speaking about all the different places now that we have to eat on the square, on any particular day, if I walk into one of these local restaurants, which one might you be in? And, and they're all great. So I'm not, you know, we're not playing favorites here or anything like that. But what, what does Eddie Caulfield <laughs> like? Well, I, I do try to spread it around. And I... Um, as it's weird, tender is closed on Sunday and Monday, but I, but I, if I'm in the back part of my office, I can smell the the smoker cranked up on Tuesdays. So usually on Tuesday, I'll hit uh, tender um, for whatever reason. Late in the week, I'm I'm hitting the catfish next door at Lucy's. Um, you know, I'll, I'll mix in um, the toasted walnut. I really do. I, I hit them all and I and, and I and I sort of weirdly I think I think about it that I I kind of thought well I went there the other day I should go here this way or this day um, I don't really know why I just maybe I just spread it out a little bit um, every once in a while I'll just zip down to hay sugar <laughs> get a fistful <laughs> of chocolate covered almonds or whatever whatever they've got going there uh, I, I I'm guilty of some of the same things I actually just started doing this low carb diet thing and, and also in my past is also having been a fitness person owning gyms doing all that stuff so um, it's tough for me because the the little girl my daughter still loves to go into hay sugar and so I have to go in there and be very very good or if we go to Papagayo's or something like that you know I don't get to participate in all of the fun of eating and Celine I has so much fun eating now and it's just getting better and better and better but speaking of fun and things like that what does Eddie Caulfield like to do for fun oh um I've got three kiddos uh ages 12 10 and 8 and so you know, most of the stuff that we do together is fun I really really enjoy that um we've uh we decided to to you know, take the plunge of, of putting in a swimming pool a couple of years ago it's taken about that long uh, so that has been fun for us. All right, guys, I really hope you're enjoying this episode of SalinaRadio.com. And I also hope that if you might be a good fit to be on this show, that you'll go to SalinaRadio.com. And down on the very bottom of the page, there's a link that says register as a guest. If you'll fill out the form that pops up, then somebody will be in contact with you very soon. And if you're a good fit for the show, then we're going to have you on your very own episode. 
I'm going to borrow some of the things that I took from uh, the candidate interviews that I did. And uh, if you've heard some of those, you may already have an idea of some of the things I'm going to ask, but I'm going to give them to you a little differently. I'm going to give them to you more rapid fire. So first thing that comes to your mind, and some will require a little bit of explanation, and then on to the next. So, all right, if you could hang out with someone from history, who would it be? Oh, my word. I'm a history major. Um, in college, um, let's go presidential, um, Abraham Lincoln. He was also a lawyer. Okay. Um, Abraham Lincoln, yes. you're going to bring him to Salina. Where are you going to hang out with Abraham Lincoln? He looks like a brisket guy. <laughs> um, we're going to tender first. Okay. Um, probably a big bowl of beans. Okay. To, uh, then to, you know, some banana pudding. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's for me. Oh, guy, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. uh, So you're going to hang out with Abraham Lincoln and have some banana pudding. Oh, yes. Absolutely. I, I love it. I think yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah, that'd so, be awesome. you know, something out of every one of these interviews kind of becomes the thing. So, you know, <laughs> uh, I, I'm not saying that's it, hey, but we've that, established I'm a lot of fun, Ron. Well, all right. No, actually, that is awesomeness right there. So, uh, favorite movie? It's a com. It's it's Rocky two, um, Rocky one, one best picture. Um, Rocky two is my favorite movie of all time. Um, so yeah, I mean that's the short answer. Um, yeah, no, that's most without question the first thing that, that pops in my mind. And yeah. and no hesitation on that. No, so. no, that's a no. That's the awesomeness. And is there any significance? Because I remember Rocky Three being so. That's you know, Clever Lang. Right. Yeah. That's that when was... they jumped the shark a little bit. Although okay. I still think that's a fine film. Um, four, <laughs> eh, we'll see. Uh, but it starts to slip after that. Um, I, you know, it was very powerful for me as a kid. I, you know, I was always loved sports, and I, um, it was a redemption story. Um, just that music when he gets back to training again. Um, man, I just, oh, it's good stuff. I isn't it? I, I, to this day, I, I still, I'll, oh yeah, it, it holds up for me. Yeah. I, you know, I, I try to get my kids to it and you know, they'll fight through the karate kid, the original. Um, but I haven't gotten them to really hang with me with all of Rocky get them into, just, yeah, yeah, no, but, I understand. Yeah. And I, I face the exact same things I've said it before, but and I have to be careful with movies with my children. Uh -huh. PG a few years ago is not the oh. same PG. Yeah. Very different. You can't throw your kids in front of Greece. Mm, no, 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 <laughs> no. Isn't that crazy? How oh that my has word. Happened? I yes. Know. I yes. Know. Yeah. I and, remember as a third grader, let's crank up Greece. Absolutely. Yo, you bet. And, and, and now when you hear the words, you're yo, like, yeah. uh, wow. But I was also sitting, you know, in the back window window of the car with no seatbelt in third grade too. So I suppose things have changed a hundred percent. So if I were to go out and get in your vehicle right now, turn it on, what radio station, what kind of music or what, what kind of station will you have on? It, you know, it's, well, if you can fight through the goldfish crackers that I'm sure, um, <laughs> It'll be the it'll be the ticket sports radio. Okay, I, I, that's yeah yeah. I've always I, no I do no, I I love music. Um, if I'm listening to music, um, it's really my wide varied. Um, I mean, I like Neil Diamond uh, to Eminem to <laughs> wow. old school country. Uh, Anita Baker, Air Supply. I mean, all of it. I really I really like a lot of different things, um, but. I, yeah, I'm usually listening to the ticket. I really am. Yeah. I like that. And and that's uh, people sometimes make fun of me for my musical taste because I'll go all over the place too. But uh, so I can totally relate to that. But it's it's awesomeness. Does uh, does music speak to you at all or is it not not really it's just background to no, you? It, it really does. Sure. It, there's some songs that oh I, I just sound sort of cheesy, I suppose. Um that just kind of really pump you up. Mm -hmm. uh, there's this song called, it's Fight Song by Rachel Platten. Yeah. Uh, this is my fight song. Absolutely. I mean, it's ridiculous that a 53-year-old man has got his <laughs> fist in the air as that song is going. Uh, we took our kids, some quality parenting here, uh, took our kids to the Jonas Brothers, uh, and they've got some, uh, some certified bangers. They have, oh my God. I, in fact, I was in Summer Moon, the coffee shop on the square two days ago. Um, and leave before you love me. I'm, and I caught myself. It was playing in there, and I'm really getting after it. I'm like, that's so <laughs> settle awesome. down, sir. <laughs> Talking to myself. 
something that you don't didn't know that we were going to do. And I see the look on your face right now. I just slid a box in front of both of us. And this happens to belong to my daughter. And it's a game and it's called Girl Talk. So what I thought I would do, like, what else do you do with an attorney? Because that might just by default be a little bit more of a dry conversation. You're not exactly out fighting fires or throwing bad guys on the ground, right? Sure. So this came to mind. So you and I, more specifically you. Oh, lovely. Are going to play Girl Talk. But don't worry. This might be my wheelhouse. I've got a 12-year-old girl and an 8-year-old girl. So I'm going to open this up. What makes you think I haven't played this before? <laughs> you may be a pro at it. No. I'm not 100% uh, sure. I cannot but... say that I've ever played Girl Talk. Well, you're going to you're gonna be surprised. I, I actually went through and made sure that there were no too crazy questions or, or anything like that. So what it is is basically there's a little, there's a little wheel here. I've got to get that situated down there. And a little pointer here. And essentially what you do is you spin this little wheel. It's going to stop. And when it stops, it's either going to be on truth or dare. And then there's corresponding oh. cards. Oh, lovely. We're playing truth or dare. So now. we're basically, well, in, in a sense, but oh, in, a, in a very adult, non-adult way. So <laughs> let me uh, let me see if I can get this little jewel set up for you, the, the little spinner deal. And uh, yeah, so this is probably unlike any interview you've ever done. Am I right? Sure. I've, all, I've only played spin the bottle during interviews. <laughs> never, never girl talk. Yeah. Never girl talk. I'm actually yeah. going to take these cards out and set them on the table like this. I'll let you be responsible for your destiny with the spins, but I'll pick the cards <laughs> sort of up. feels like I lost that chance a few minutes ago <laughs> when we started but Just this. Just to prove that there is no setup here, I'm not going to mix the cards. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> no, if you want to, you're more than welcome to mix them up. They're, they're, they're in no particular order i did i did take out i knew from playing it with my daughter that there are some cards there are some dares i saw one card and you're supposed to take the socks of the other person or another person in the room and make a hat out of them oh, we're not going to do anything like that today as much as i'd love to see eddie caulfield with a sock hat on <laughs> we're probably we're that's 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 probably for video and not for audio so right, you want to you want to uh <laughs> give this thing a spin i don't see I, do i, I want to no <laughs> not even close i i see i see a little bit of nervousness here and that's probably not common for eddie caulfield so give a give that a little spin and let's see what we get okay all right he's taking it he's giving it a very masculine point, i'm hoping an emergency client runs into the building <laughs> a very okay what did we get where's the uh, point looks like a truth okay it looks like a truth okay uh do you want to read it or you want me to read it to you um why don't you read it to me okay, i'm not sure I'll, that i could read right now I'll read. <laughs> i feel like i've been punched in the face okay this is not bad if you were invisible for a day what would you do oh man um, <laughs> I'm glad you didn't ask me this when I was 15. Uh, uh, if I were invisible for a day, um, you know, I I think I would just get in a car and drive and freak people out <laughs> that there's a car cruising around with nobody driving it. Um, yeah, I'm not as much fun as I used you to be. Might, you might be able to create some work for yourself because there'd be an awful lot of accidents and stuff happening. Oh, if that's there's true. I could, I could uh, you know, drive around and then just gently sprinkle my cards around town. There you go. I let the uh, near the near the accidents. You would definitely make the news, and nobody knew who you were. So give, give it another spin. Oh, let's oh, see. Oh, we can't we can't stop there, huh? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, we have a lot of cards uh, oh, to get through. So. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> All right. So we gave it another very masculine spin. Let's uh, see what we end spin. on here. Oh, oh another truth. Another truth. Okay. Oh well, that's probably going to be easy then. Uh, do you believe in the five second rule? Oh yeah. 15, 20 seconds. <laughs> if it's decent food, I might see it two days later. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Um, so we're, we're definitely learning an awful lot about Eddie Caulfield. So can I make the third spin? Oh, no. All right. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spin it. Right, let's just see. I'm, I'm hoping really. This lands on dare. dare. I know this is rigged. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, it looks like you got another truth, oh, did yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. You got another truth. And, and we're literally playing girl talk. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, I think I already know the answer to this one. This 
And this this one I think I could answer for you. What's something that makes you nervous? And I think it might be playing this game right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, I, I, it's doing a podcast with Ron Lyons. That's what it is. Nobody's uh, ever going to be on the show again. Uh, They'd be like, what are you going to pull out? And what are you going to do? Yeah, no, that, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's probably a fair enough answer. That's that's probably um, right. Give it, give it okay. another spin let's and see let's see what can. we get. See if we can get something crazy here. Not like those haven't been already. All right. What did we get? You're an attorney. It's right on the line. Uh, if I'm being candid with the court, that uh, appears to have landed on the dare side. Of okay. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Am I under oath here? Lots and lots of integrity in this. So I like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Oh. You can oh. already just tell from my slightly evil laugh. This, this is, is where I will be. soon fake a heart attack. <laughs> take it all the way. Uh, if, if I could get uh, the office staff to call 911 ahead of time now, I'm about to be wheeled out of here. You must hold your tongue and say she sells seashells by the seashore. She, <laughs> she sells. Hold, hold my tongue. Hold your tongue and I, say I, it I, is I presume perfect. you mean with my fingers. With your, remember, five second rule. You're okay oh, yeah, with this. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I'm, I, this is the hand I use to pick up food off of the floor. Perfect. So. <laughs> she sells. She sells. By the sea floor. I probably completely covered that up with my laughing. Well, let's hope. I, I literally have tears in my eyes. That well, is the good. <laughs> good. Yes, you should. You should be very sad right now. No, actually, it's yeah, awesomeness. Is, yes. Okay, how about we do this? We'll limit it to three more spins. Three just more. Three. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna, my just wrist three. Okay. <laughs> All right. And there's a good spin. I'm guessing you're hoping for a truth question. Uh, oh dear. And well, you got yeah. a dare. It's like we were due for a couple of dares. <laughs> we were due law for... statistics has crept back in. <laughs> All right. This one is going to require that you have your cell phone with you. Do you have your cell phone with you? I, I do not If you have don't, okay, I'm going gonna, gonna to hand mine across to you, and I'm going to flip it around so it's on, it's on selfie mode right there. And your actual dare was, let's see if I can, I'll read it right off the card. Make a silly face and take a selfie. Is, is the fact that I'm wearing children's <laughs> headphones, does that not That just adds to, That just yeah. adds to it. Yeah. All right, give us your best silly face. Oh, my best silly face. <laughs> I want you to know, when, when people take family photos and they say, let's do a serious one than a silly one, I hate doing a silly one. <laughs> yeah, well, you're okay. an attorney. Yeah, I know, but everybody That's... just does the sort of side tongue out of their mouth. <laughs> and, and and you're the one that still looks the same, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not doing yeah. that. Yeah, I'm the one who, that guy looks like he used to be fun. <laughs> He's not fun anymore. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah that was greatness. Yeah, yeah. All right. We have two oh, spins yeah. left. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we get here. We are on. Oh, oh. Well, now we're back. It's three to three. What three, in the world? Three dares in a row. All right. Yes. <laughs> Oh, wow. it, can't, it can't be bad. It can't, oh, it's, no, no. In a minute here, I'm going to be shirtless. <laughs> no, I, I yeah. assure you that won't Good. happen. I guess that wouldn't necessarily be a girl talk game. Yeah. All right. You, I noticed a while ago when you were talking about that power ballad song, that you actually have a really good voice. You have a great... Oh, my <laughs> word. You have a great singing voice. Oh, no. And the good news is, and you love music, so so I, I believe that there's enough evidence to support moving forward on this particular Ooh, card. We're going to ruling on that. We literally have... Oh, is it sidebar time here? Oh, without... As a <laughs> yeah, matter of fact, I might sneak out the back. <laughs> I, I have, by a preponderance of the evidence... Uh, oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Now, I don't have to prove this beyond a reasonable doubt. So you must hold your nose pinched shut and sing about 15 seconds of your favorite song. Oh, my word. Um, well, this is going to reveal something else about me. If this is what is, is allegedly my favorite song, when people ask me my favorite song, I will tell them. Uh, and so if you'll indulge me briefly, it's the first concert I ever went to in July 5th, 1983. It was Journey's concert. Wow. Um, Journey didn't, they weren't always cool. I was way ahead of things. They were cool at the time. The place was packed. But then they kind of got kicked around for a long time. And then they made a, you know, a comeback. 
Um, and so I, I think my favorite song is Don't Stop Believing. <laughs> um, so um, now that doesn't necessarily mean I know the lyrics without some prompting from the song alongside me. Um, but I suppose if this is what the rules call for, this is what the rules call for. Uh, and you are a rule follower. So. so without question, I'm a rule follower. Um, okay. And think of the think of the good point. The good point of this is this is your next to last one. You only have one left. Oh, that's the good part. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, all right, uh, here we go. This uh, is Eddie Caulfield doing his impression of its journey. And if anybody who the the one person uh, who, in my family who's still listening to this, <laughs> this would go ahead and be the time to shut it on down. And um, here we go, guys. Yeah. Just a small town girl <laughs> living in a lonely world. <laughs> Saw the midnight train going anywhere. <laughs> Yeah. That is amazing. And here's, is it? Yes, no, it, it um, is. And, and, here's, and here's what's so crazy about that. Even with you benching your nose shut, you're way better than me. So that's awesomeness mm, right there. No, I'm not. I, I, no, that's, uh, that was, that's the most embarrassed I've been in about three hours. <laughs> yeah. But there's still hope to oh, get more embarrassed. I don't know if I'd call it with, hope. With our last Spin, or you might get off lucky with a very easy truth. Let's yeah, see. Last I think we spin, both found out that's going to end. Last spin right. with Eddie Caulfield determining his own destiny right here in the court of public opinion. <laughs> Please, it's a dare, isn't it? Well, I'll no? let you be the tiebreaker there. I'll let you be the tiebreaker. If you look directly overhead, uh -huh. I think that is split right down the middle. Let's 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 let me lean over and take a look. I think that's about as down the middle as you could get. So I'm going to let you choose. Okay. What do you uh, choose? Oh, I'll do one more spin. Okay. How about that? Okay. We'll we're gonna, do, we'll do, we're, we're, you're literally we'll, going to live on the we'll, edge. We'll break. The, yeah, I told you. I'm nuts. Yeah. You are crazy. Oh, man. that's and clearly a dare. It's yeah. clearly a dare. I'd like to go I back and answer your last. Uh, you take that other <laughs> option about me getting to pick. Golly. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, lovely. Oh, this is going to be good. And, and we're very lucky that there are a few items on the table right now because... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be so nice. I'm going to say, do you want this car? Do you want the next one? I'm Without not going to tell it, you what it I is. I don't want it. Okay, that was good. Because you were going to have to do a very quick makeup tutorial oh. using items on the table. Yeah, I could have fought my way through that. I've had, I've had my nails done many times. <laughs> okay, I don't think you want this one either. I'm just going to put the second one back down and ask you to go ahead and do the makeup tutorial because the other one involved drawing a face on your hand and having a conversation with it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. so you wanna... surprised. No, I do that about three times a week. <laughs> well, you know what uh, happens. So this is an audio tutorial of makeup. That's right. The very, uh, very quick one. And oh, you can yeah. Use anything just, on the table uh, right here. Uh, so Well, you know. I mean, I see some sunglasses here that, well, they're, it's a piece of cardboard sunglasses <laughs> that I hope are not mine. They're part of this game here. Um, I suppose I could use those to grab some uh, some blush. There you go. And then... Um, Tell us uh, how you apply that. I would, I would take that liber liberally, <laughs> circularly on each of my cheeks. That's nice. Um, Good technique probably, there. Yeah, Good I'd technique. Flip this around to some eyeshadow. Uh -huh. I'm, um, I'm more of a, like a, a sky blue. Right. Uh, with very, some sparkles in it. Very very yeah, 80s. Um, and I would probably also liberally affix that to my eyebrows. Right. Um, yeah. And I'd, um, you know, maybe, yeah, I'd, I'd figure out some way to get some eyelash extensions wow. going. And then... Uh, I'm a little concerned right now. You're really good at this. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd uh, yeah, I'd finish it off with a healthy uh, slathering of Carmex. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, yeah, we're good to go. All right, well, there you go. And that is Eddie Caulfield playing girl talk yeah. and being a fantastic oh, sport. He wow. was concerned that yeah, still maybe... still am. <laughs> yeah, but for a different reason now. <laughs> that this might not be the most exciting conversation, and you know what it turns out to be the most exciting conversation. So, Eddie, I, I've, I'm going to wrap everything up with asking you one last question because everything on this podcast is based around Salina. It, tell me what you love so much about Salina. Oh, you know, you've already figured out I talk too much, so I won't go on and on. But, oh, I, the mere fact that you and I are sitting here, I suppose, is what I love about it. Um, just uh, people, just having folks in the area who 
who who do do these things for Salina. Um, you know, just that's just a small slice of it. You know, there's the the trite, cliched answers of, you know, I really like the people, um, and that's very very true. Um, I I love the 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 you know the, the obvious proximity. You know, we're you know, um, a Punk Carter told me once. Um, what he loves about it is that he's 45 minutes from the rest of the world. You know, he's out here, but he's 45 minutes from the rest of the world because he's talking about the airport. So we're not far from anything, but when you get out here, it feels far, which I really, really like. Um, and I think that is because of the people. Um, you know, I said I wasn't going to talk too much, and I'll wrap it up with this. When I, when we moved in, we moved in on a Saturday, November 1st, and uh, my wife had had her first chemo treatment of what has now been more than I can count on, uh, two days earlier, on that October 30th. And we moved in, and um, some neighbors had known about it. Some of our now neighbors had known, and they, and they had just shown up at the door with, with pizza, with food uh, for us. And that was our, our I knew, I kind of knew we were home at that point. And it's really always been the same way. The people, the fact that there's just a lot of stuff coming here and this downtown has turned into a, a professional home, um, you know, is all wonderful too and things that I love about it. Um, but I am, you know, I've just been very fortunate to, to, to have encountered a bunch of people who um, have been really good, um, my personal good people. And I'm, you know, that's a really long-winded way of saying that. And I appreciate you still listening to me. Well, <laughs> my, my grandmother who's still listening. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? Thank you. I, I knew from the time that I, I actually saw you in an EDC meeting and you walked in. I think you may have had a bow tie on and I was... And, 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 or, or you had some bright colors on. You, yeah, you got my attention. I'm not a bow tie guy. I might have had um, oh, a, a jacket that was maybe a little bit slightly off. There was know. something that caught my attention. <laughs> and then we all had to go around the room and say who we were. When you said who you were, I was like, I'm going to talk to that guy. That guy likes to play girl talk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I actually did not know that. Uh, but, well, you know, yeah, you learned something. You know, there, you, yeah. it's an evidentiary I didn't either. You know, search here. And then this yeah. is what we've uh, uncovered. So I am going to submit this podcast to the court of uh, the city of Salina, the, the people out there. And I think they're going to love it. And thank you so very much for doing this. And I always ask this question. I, I'm afraid to ask you. <laughs> no, I would not do this again. <laughs> okay. Asked and answered. <laughs> All right. I may appeal that decision. No, to you I later. would. I, uh, yeah, no, of course I would. No, it's actually been quite pleasant. Um, yeah, it's really been great. A lot of fun. And I, I, I really do appreciate you. All right, guys, that was Eddie Caulfield, and Eddie's office is located downtown Salina on the square. Now, I would say definitely stop by if you have some legal need. And as he said in the interview, if he's not your attorney, he knows how to make a recommendation to the right person for you. But I would definitely stop by just to say hello and get to know this guy. He is absolutely awesome and thank you eddie for doing the show that was just fantastic i normally talk about something funny that happened during the interview but brother everything in the end of that interview was hilarious i literally not even kidding about this i had tears in my eyes it was absolutely fantastic so what did you think about the show if you will, go to salinaradio.com and down on the bottom right hand side of your screen there should be a blue button. Hit that blue button and you can leave me up to a two minute voicemail and tell me what you thought about the show. Or if you have some suggestions for a future show or something like that, leave that message. Basically, you can tell me anything you want when you hit that little blue button right there. And if you think you might be a good fit for this show, go down to the very bottom of the page in the footer and click on the link that says register as a guest. After you do that, fill out the form and then somebody's going to be in contact with you about being on salinaradio.com. Until then, if you will, share this on your social media, tell your friends about it and help us continue to lift this show so high off the ground that everybody else just kind of looks up and says, where did that come from? It's already happening. And that is because we've got the most amazing fans out there. So as always, guys, 
God bless. And I'll see you on the next show.